the moa were large flightless birds. They lived only in New Zealand and are now all extinct. There were 11 species and 6 genera of moa. The largest and best known was the genus Dinornis, which grew up to 3.6 meters or 12 feet tall and weighed as much as 230 kilograms or 510 pounds. The group of birds to which the moa belong had been in existence since the Cretaceous period. Moa are classed scientifically as ratites and closely related to the living ostrich, emu, and cassowary, as well as the extinct elephant bird from Madagascar. But the moa's closest relatives are small terrestrial South American birds called the tinamous, which are the only ratites that can still fly. They were first described from a small fragment of fossilized bone in 1839 by Sir Richard Owen, an English comparative anatomist and paleontologist. Owen discovered that the fragment of the femur had the distinctive honeycomb structure of a bird bone, but this bird would have been much larger than any others known at the time, which was a major discovery. Although it is uncertain exactly how Moa looked, it is thought they were similar to emus with a domed back. They had three front-facing toes on each foot and a small toe at the back. Their feathers were rough and furry. Female moa were usually larger than males. Some moa, such as the mantel's moa, and males of northern populations of stout-legged moa, were smaller than a turkey. Moa skeletons were traditionally reconstructed in an upright position to create impressive height, but analysis of their vertebral articulations indicates that they probably carried their heads forward in the manner of a kiwi. No records survive of what sounds moa made though some idea of their calls can be gained from fossil evidence. The trachea of moa were supported by many small rings of bone, known as tracheal rings. Excavation of these rings from articulated skeletons has shown that at least two moa genera, Eurypteryx and emus, exhibited tracheal elongation. They are the only ratites known to exhibit this feature, which is also present in several other bird groups, including swans, cranes, and guinea fowl. The feature is associated with deep resonant vocalizations that can travel long distances. Moa were the main herbivores in New Zealand and were widespread in forest, shrubland, and coastal dune areas of the North and South Islands. They varied in size, from as small as turkeys to bigger than ostrich. Dinornis novizialandi was the second largest of the Moa species. The largest was Dinornis robustus, found on the South Island. The Maori people arrived in New Zealand from Oceania about a thousand years ago. Then, Moas lived in large numbers, especially on South Island. Archaeological sites with evidence of Moa hunting are all over New Zealand. The Moas became extinct about 500 years ago. The Moas had survived being hunted by the Haas eagle. However, they could not survive being hunted for food by the Maoris. One of the most characteristic skeletal features is the flattened sternum. Unlike other birds, the sternum did not have a keel which is a bony ridge where muscles attach to power flight. Moa evolved flightlessness and isolation over millions of years because the food they relied on was easily accessible on the ground. Additionally, while on the forest floor, they were safer from their only predator, the Haas eagle. The Haas eagle, believed to be one of the heaviest raptors on earth, is thought to have been the only major predator of moas until humans arrived. Over time, moa wings reduced in size until they disappeared completely, and their bodies became larger and unsuited to flying. 